Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks. Today, we're taking a look at a company in a huge and growing sector that just IPO'd this summer but hasn't gotten very much attention. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're looking at a company that is fairly new to the public market and it's recently had some analysts weigh in with price targets that would be some huge upside potential. We're gonna take a look at what it is that this company does and what has analysts feeling so bullish about the future. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. All right guys, today the company we're taking a look at is Outbrain. Their stock trades under the ticker OB and is currently priced right around $16 per share. Outbrain had their IPO on July 27th when they put about 8 million shares on the market at $20 per share. So the share obviously has fallen a few dollars since then and has had relatively low trading volume. Now, as I said before, Outbrain is in a huge and growing industry. Outbrain is a leading recommendation platform powering the open web. They pioneered the online content recommendation category that makes the act of exploring and discovering new things on the open web possible. The company was founded back in 2006 with the goal of solving the problem that publishers were having of recreating the print experience of just having to turn a page to discover the next article or product on the web. By 2008, they had the first algorithmic-based content recommendation. Then in 2010, the first publisher launched paid content, and by 2012, they had launched the industry's first self-serve platform. Now, millions of people are enjoying a more personalized online experience through Outbrain. Outbrain focuses on native advertising. Now, native advertising means that a paid ad matches the feel, look, and format of whatever media it appears in. This means compared to display ads or banner ads, you don't really notice that it's an ad. The key to native advertising is that it's not disruptive. So this would look like in-feed ads that appear on your social media networks, search and promoted listings that appear at the top of your Google search results, or content recommendations that appear just below the article you read. And native ads certainly seem to be the way of the future. As native advertising is expected to drive more than 74% of all ad revenue in 2021 with an anticipated $36.3 billion in ad revenue. Now, native advertising works for three main reasons. First is that consumers look at native ads 53% more than display ads and create an 18% increase in purchase intent. Second is that native advertising fights ad fatigue, which is what happens when an audience gets bored with seeing ads. Since native ads are brand exposure cloaked in editorial content, they don't tire out the audience. And third is that although consumers know native ads are a form of advertising, they don't seem to care. In a recent study at Stanford University, they found that native advertisings don't fool anybody and that consumers are well aware that it's a form of advertising. However, they still have a significant effect on purchase behavior. Outbrain has built themselves into a leading open web recommendation platform. They work with over 7,000 digital media properties, making over 10 billion recommendations per day and have over 1.5 million engagements every hour. Their first party data feeds a powerful data and AI flywheel with over 1 billion data signals per minute, up to 100 million predictions per second and 40 million engagements per day. The company has relationships with some pretty big names out there, such as CNN and the New York Post. And they've maintained those relationships for a long time, with their top 20 media owner partnerships being about seven years on average. And these partnerships typically extend two to three years per renewal. One key point about Outbrain is that they offer an exclusive point of access to these platforms. This means that the only way advertisers can access the feeds of places like CNN or the New York Post is by spending money with Outbrain through that single access point. Outbrain shared their first quarterly report as a publicly traded company back on August 18th, and the shares did drop following this despite the company having solid Q2 results. Their revenue came in at $247 million and gross profit at $59 million. This represented year-over-year -year growth of 57% for revenue and year-over-year -year growth of 84% for their gross profit. Their net income came in at $15 million, and the company reported earnings of $0.28 cents per share, which was significantly better than the year-ago period's loss of $0.16 cents per share. 
along with the second quarter results, was some commentary from co-CEO David Costman. He said that the premium nature of our media partners and the overall superior quality of our platform continue to be key differentiators and support our strong momentum in the marketplace. We are encouraged by the current trends we see in our business as we continue to strengthen our leadership in the open web. The most recent analyst to weigh in on the stock is five-star analyst Ronald Josie from JMP Securities. Given Outbrain's exclusive multi-year contracts with publishers, performance-focused advertiser ad budgets, and its ad units and measurable tools, the service is highly defensible with significant revenue visibility. Ronald is one of six analysts that have a current rating on the Outbrain stock, and it does come in as a strong buy based on five buy ratings and one hold. The average price target comes in at $25.67, which would be an upside potential of nearly 60% for this next year. And taking a look at our detailed list of analyst forecasts, our lowest is that hold rating from a couple months ago, which would still be an upside of 32%. We have several at the $25 price point, which is a healthy upside of 57%. And on the high end, we have Ronald's price target at $32 coming in just yesterday. That would be an upside of 101%. So that is a quick scoop on Outbrain. Now I know this is a company that wasn't on my radar before today, but it did catch my eye having so many five-star analysts giving some pretty bullish ratings there. So of course, I love hearing from you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Was this company on your radar already? And what do you think of its future growth potential? Of course, please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just meant for information and entertainment purposes always. Make sure you're doing your own research and due diligence before making any investment decision. If you made it all the way to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you back here next time.